Let's have some fun today. Top five greatest tundras of all time. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're having a great day, and welcome to the Tundra Dude 34 YouTube channel. So there are a lot of people out there that like a lot of different tundras. And somebody asked me the other day, and I thought it was a great idea. They asked me what my top five list of greatest tundras of all time is. So I'm going to give that to you today in order. But what I ask from you is go down in the comments below. Number one, do you agree with my list? Number two, if not, make a list of your own. Now, what I did here as far as how I figured out what is my top five, there's different reasons. Number one, do I just like the truck? Number two, did it do something for the Tundra brand? Those were the two main things. I thought about this for about a week. I hope you like some of the things that I came up with here. We're going to start with the first generation for my number five pick, and that is the infamous Stepside Tundra. I don't know why, but I absolutely love this thing. I think it was a little innovative. It was different. You weren't seeing pickup trucks out there like this. There were two steps right in front of the rear tire there. It did shrink the bed a little bit, but it just, when you saw them, and I saw them every once in a while around here, you had to stop and look at it. It was something fairly unique. It had those big fenders on the side of the bed there, just made it completely different. Uh, the TRD Sport package was on this one in the picture. It still had the 4.7 liter V8 engine, but I think this one was definitely a head turner. The first generation Tundra had a lot of great options to it, but when I think first generation Tundra, this is the one that I think of. This came in the access cab, and we are always asking to this day, all these years later, like 20 years later since this truck was brand new on the lot, we're always asking for integrated steps to get in and out of the truck. Well, it was here once in the first generation Tundra. So number five for me absolutely has to be that step side Tundra. And before we move to number four, I got to ask, does anybody still have this truck out there now? I'd love to hear how it's doing. And if you do use those integrated side steps as they are intended, or would you just like the regular bed of the first generation and future generations after that? All right, so let's go to number four. And to me, this has to be mentioned here. This is from the new generation. And it's probably not one many would have expected to be such a big deal. But when the new generation came out, we all know that they were very hard to get. There was COVID going on. There was the uh, part shortage. You didn't see a lot of Tundras on the lot. So everybody thought the TRD Pro would be the big deal. That would be the Tundra to get. But we soon found out the hardest Tundra to get and the one that everybody wanted was that 1794 TRD Off-Road iForce Max in the Army Green. As many of you know that have been around the channel a long time, I absolutely love the 1794 package. And not only that, I love even more what they did when they came to the new generation. They did a lot of things to the truck. Um, and now with the new generation, you had things like that iForce Max. You had uh, more technology on the inside with features. They changed the coloring of the seats. There was actually two options. And Army Green is absolutely my favorite color. It's an amazing truck, but they were impossible to get. And because, once again, it came out during a time where there wasn't a lot of Tundras, if this thing was on the lot, usually it was bought before it even got to the lot, it was sold almost immediately. So number four on my list absolutely has to be that 2022 slash 2023 1794 iForce Max TRD Off-Road in Army Green. Can't say 2024 because Army Green is now discontinued, which is very sad. Number three, I think most of you will agree. And I think there's a lot more meaning behind this truck than is talked about enough. And that is the TRD Rock Warrior that was introduced in 2009. It was partially debadged, the, the truck. There was some badges on it. It did still have the 5.7 V8 on the side of the truck. It had the TRD Rock Warrior stickers on the back. But that was pretty much it. It was a very plain truck. And this was at a time where there wasn't a lot of trucks that were just body color all the way down. It had that great wheel and tire package, the BF Goodrich and the TRD forged wheel. Um, I think this was the jump off point for what will come next on my list and next in the generation of Toyota, because this was the beginning of that great second generation. A uh, great part about this truck is not only could you get it in an SR5 or grade, as they said back then, this truck was available on the Limited as well, so you could actually get this thing with some features in it. Now, it wasn't super loaded up as far as the package goes. 
You still got an off-road wheel and tire package that were different. Still got Bilstein shocks, but the best part was this is one of those first trucks that really went full body color and started to go to that really great off-road look. So for me, absolutely number three has to be the TRD Rock Warrior. I think many of you will agree with that one. Now the TRD Rock Warrior moves us right into my number two on the list because I think the success of the Rock Warrior brought us the 2015 TRD Pro Tundra. That was year one of TRD Pro. It was Inferno was the first color. This truck was awesome, truly body color all the way around. It had a unique suspension with a little lift in front to level that truck out. It had black TRD wheels, TRD dual exhaust. The thing was absolutely amazing. Year one, that a lot of people don't know, actually had fabric interior on that TRD Pro with a cool design on it. In 2016, it automatically went to soft text, but that first year pro with the heritage grill, bringing back that Toyota grill, big 5.7 V8. It was an absolutely awesome truck. TRD Pro stamped in the side of the bed. That was such a head turner. And that truck is so hard to find even to this day. Every once in a while, you'll see on one of the forums or someone will email me, hey, I got an Inferno. And it doesn't matter if it's double cab or crew max. That will be a Tundra we look at down the road as one that we wished we had. That first generation built off of an SR5. TRD Pro in Inferno, beautiful, awesome truck. Now that brings us to number one. We mentioned a lot of cool Tundras there, but what could be number one on this list? Pause the video, guess down below what you think number one will be. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. You can't pick any other truck than this. The 2007 Toyota Tundra Crew Max. 2007 was the greatest model year for Tundra and probably always will be. You want to talk about Game Changer. It came from the smaller first generation to become a true full-size contender. The look of the truck is still relevant to this day. It was absolutely beautiful. And it was beautiful in many different trims and in many different looks. But that SR5 Crew Max with the TRD Offroad Package was something else. Could tow 10,000 pounds. Massive Crew Max cab was introduced. 5.7 V8 was introduced. This truck was absolutely amazing. The truck that's changing it all was the motto, and everybody wanted one. Even the loyalists from the other brands wanted this 2007 Tundra. And to this day, no matter how cool some of these new Tundras get, no matter how much we look at special packages along the way, and whatever is to come next, that 2007 model year Tundra changed the face of Toyota trucks forever and made them relevant in a world of big three. The best sales year was 2007. Everybody noticed the 2007 Tundra. And for me, to this day, it is my favorite Tundra of all time. And I don't think that's ever gonna change. So to me, I think that's a solid top five right there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you agree with that top five? Are there other Tundras that would build your top five? If so, list it, I wanna see it. Let's go over that list one more time. The Stepside Tundra from the first generation. Absolutely awesome. I'd buy one today if I could. It just looks so different and the integrated steps on the side of the bed can't go wrong. So that's an easy top five for me. Number four, that 1794 TRD Off-Road iForce Max was absolutely beautiful when that new generation came out, but the army green made it even more special. Impossible truck to find. Number three, TRD Rock Warrior. Everyone across the board who is a Tundra enthusiast is going to agree on that one. That was an amazing truck. And number two, I feel like the Rock Warrior brought us to the TRD Pro. And that first year, 2015 Inferno, that's the one everyone wants and is kind of unique in itself versus the other years of TRD Pro. Bringing us to the ultimate number one, the 2007 Tundra. Absolutely must have my absolute favorite truck. Can't wait to hear what you guys have to say in the comments below. What is your top five? Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Tundra Dude 34. 100 34 gmail.com. You guys, be safe, be well. Can't wait to see your list.